It's actually the evening and I'm in the kitchen cooking. Sean just gone in the living room, but he wasn't here with me earlier and he cut up some seasons for me. So he cut up these for me and right now I am doing pork chops. I know they don't look appetizing right now, but they will be y'all. Yeah, so I kind of like fry them up a little bit and then I'm gonna stew them down. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. River is on his little play mat. Hello, Rivy. Say hi. Look at, oh, you're so busy. Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, say hello. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're so busy. Hey, Sean. Yo, what's up? What are you doing? Oh, what? Sean is on his phone, yeah. Reels. So this morning when I woke up when he was making breakfast, my hair look a mess, y'all. I promise I'm gonna go and get my hair done. Probably like next week or weekend or something. It's time to relax it. Yeah. Anyhow, I told the people. Told the people what? Huh? Told the people what? Well, yesterday. What well, about well, yesterday? That we had a disagreement. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go into details though, really. I just said we had a, like a little disagreement. Not a full blown argument because it wasn't. We don't full blown like bleak blowouts, but I just told him we had a disagreement. And you know, it's just really stem from the kitchen. <laughs> Guys, I love company in the kitchen, you know? And when Sean wasn't here, I always used to ask Shakela to stay with me. Like my ideal house, right? Like Sean always said, when we buy our house, he loves an open plan. And I totally agree. I remember years ago when I was looking for a flat and all of that stuff, I kind of liked the fact that the kitchen was separate from the house. Because you see, that's how it is. The kitchen is in a separate room. and um, But no, seeing how it is, especially like having Sean here and like him and River... Jeez, y'all heard that? It's a proper storm going on, Sean. Yep. So, you have him and River out here chilling. Shakela was out here as well. Um, and, like, now I'm going to be in the kitchen. And it's like, you know. Normally when I'm in the kitchen, when we were in our long-distance relationship, Sean was on the phone with me in the kitchen. And now he's here. Like, i'm just kind of lonely in the kitchen so an open plan definitely would be good because then at least i can still see the family and it's kind of nice you know when you have an open plan because then you can see the kids and stuff in the living room doing what they do or watching their tv and stuff like that but yeah sean um he's not into sharing the kitchen with me really he says i meddle and he don't want him in the whole meddling thing and right was that it yeah no not quite oh well, something like it though not really oh sometimes i want to be in there sometimes i don't and i told him he can't just pick and choose because then i thought that he loved being in there so then when he say okay i'm going and i'm like what why he gets annoyed when i do that when i say but why because he already give me the company already and he has chop it shot so so i said no what do i do right I'm hearing you. I'm I'm hearing you. That's all. You see what he does? This is what he does. What? I talk and he does not respond sometimes. And I kind of like the conversation to keep going. He takes a time to process things. I think I mentioned that before, you know, in our little how we met type of thing video. He takes time and he processes things. And sometimes there's no response that comes. It's just like I'm processing it. Okay. And then it could be tomorrow before we finish the conversation. Not necessarily. But it's whenever you process it. But processing could take some hours, right? No, sometimes it doesn't warrant a response. Really? Yeah. It does because I want a response. I always want a response. I think that's my problem or is that your problem? Yours. It is our problem. Yours. Can we meet in the middle then? There should be a middle. And when I respond then what happens? You could give me something to, no, to look forward to, like to say, when, you know what? I'm going to just give me some time. But you don't say that. You don't say, give me time. You just does. You just don't respond. Yeah. That's not right. Guys, 
is that right it is not right because i want an answer like we're like yesterday we were in the kitchen i was gonna cook the chicken feet i was excited i was like we're gonna vlog sean is gonna help me you know he started cutting up all the seasons and i didn't ask him and i was like oh nice right so i was like washing up the dishes and stuff because i don't like to clean i don't like to cook if there's like dirty dishes i like the sink and the area to be completely spotless right so then after a while he just was like all right i'm gone and i was like where are you going like why he doesn't want to be in the kitchen anymore he changed his mind then he's like oh i'm gonna put on the rice and then he's gonna go and i was like but i'm gonna I, i'm gonna have to cut up the chicken i'll cut the nails off of it if you're new here <laughs> we're jamaican that we do eat chicken feet and it comes with nails if you find this gross i'm sorry but it's something that we like so i was gonna cut the nails off right and we were talking i thought we were vibing but we weren't to him, it's like, you know, I don't want to be in here. You do your thing. But I don't want to do my thing because we already started this whole little thing of us being in the kitchen in the first place. With you cutting up the seasoning, I'm washing up, getting ready to cut up the chicken feet and stuff like that. And then you just, boom, gone. So then it turned into this bickering back and forth, back and forth. And I don't think we ever, I don't think we ever, um, we never really did that before, right? And what ended up happening? It's probably like our first little argument, really. In the end, I just was up and out of there. I said, I'm, I'm not cooking. And I, I left the kitchen. So I said, <laughs> so I said, I'm not cooking then. That's what I said. Yeah. So I said, you could throw them in the garbage or put them in the freezer. And Sean was like, I'm not touching them. I was like, well, I'm not touching them either. And then I went in the bedroom and I was editing. Then... Well, after I hear pot bubbling and all sorts, I could smell it. And I was like, oh, I couldn't wait for the food to finish because it had smelled nice. <laughs> I did tell them though that you cooked, and then you. I did tell them. I told them that you cooked and you plate up my food. You even pour my drink for me and everything, and that was so nice. That's all I told them. All right, listen. When I'm in the kitchen. I like to do everything. I like to take my time and have my time in the kitchen, right? I enjoy that moment and I spend my time in the kitchen. I usually don't need help, but if Shana wanna come in the kitchen and help, sometimes it's good. Sometimes. But I like being in there. Sometimes. Even if it's even if no, you don't want my no, help, I wanna no. come in there and talk. Why why sometimes? Because there's times when Shana come in and she she she'd be a sous chef, a chef number two. Because I'm chef number one, okay? She be a chef number two. And she's suggesting that we do this. She's suggesting that we do that. Miss teamwork, why, babe. And why we don't do this? And why you putting in this? And why you putting in that? A chef number two shouldn't have a Okay, time. hold on. I'm we had this discussion one. before. And I agree that I'm not going to meddle. And I have not been meddling. No. Be honest, Sean. I don't tell you why you don't do this. You realize that I changed. I do not meddle. I don't, but you continue to. What did you do with my pancakes yesterday, the day before or whatever? You come in there and you're going to pour in the batter and do this and do that. You meddle, but I don't make a big deal of it. But you see, I stop meddling in your business. Right. I am just there for company. And if you want me to help, I do okay. help. I have changed. So, since I meddle, I said, okay, then when you're in the kitchen, I'm going to stay out. You, no, you no, you got to change that way. <laughs> That's not it, Sean. Don't make that an excuse. You got to compromise. Don't say since this, I'm going to leave. So say since this, fine. I'll stay, but I won't do this if this is not what you want. But okay. he, have, and, he and, and there are times when I come in and just zip it, right? There are, there are times when I don't say anything. I just wash the floor. However, my point, what, what, the point I'm going to make is when I'm not in the kitchen, I like the opportunity to float. I want to float between rooms. I want to float in the kitchen when I feel like it. And if I want to assist, I assist. If I don't want to assist, I want to float back in the living room with River and float out of it. I don't want to have okay, a commitment. But we can float together. No, I don't want the commitment. If, if I'm not in the kitchen, I don't want the commitment to be in there. Unless I'll take the whole thing over. I gotta go so check I the pork. I want to float. Oh, yeah. You gotta go check the pork. Yeah. Because it's burning. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm Oh my god! Y'all make my pork burn up. Watch it. Whoa! It ain't burn. It's just a bit charred. I mean, it's 
just well done. That's fine. See, if we were in the kitchen, I would not have to leave the pork. But anyways, that's fine how it is. I'm gonna stew it down. No, see them all. Teamwork. <laughs> teamwork. You feel like being in the kitchen with yeah, me, you know? All right. That's it? Yeah. You're done? Yeah. Oh. Get some rice. Okay, nice. You're so kind. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I wanted these plantains ready. Did you guys see when I was shopping for the plantain from Checo? If y'all double tap, double tap and pass that part in the video, go back. But I'll have some plantains here, but I don't think they're gonna be ready. Look. Yeah, I don't know. This one still look kind of green. Maybe this one? Yeah. Or this one. This one is looking all right, Sean. Probably. No, they're not ready for you. This one? No, maybe this. Uh, Probably won't be as sweet. So not sure. It won't be good. Weird. Okay. Oh, that sucks. I'd like to have some planting on the side, really. Are you chef number one now again, or? Sure. <laughs> anyways guys so yeah that's i mean that's that that's you know comment down below your thoughts anyways i'll show you guys my pork when it's finished i'm just gonna go and do some rice or sean said he's gonna put on the rice yeah i'll probably show you guys what that looks like maybe i'm not promising you guys because sometimes it's a bit hard to just keep up with the vlog so oh babe put the pot, put the pot in the middle yeah so we're just gonna focus on that and we need to watch a movie tonight again shani that was a nice movie we watched last night even though yeah we watched a movie last night it's a true story where this little boy that had got get abducted and stuff like that the stranger yeah, what's it called the strange the stranger the stranger it's called the stranger yeah. on netflix i mean we'll be telling y'all our movies y'all be watching them yeah it's a stranger it's based on a true story about this australian boy that had get abducted and killed so yeah all right people see you guys in the next clip all right all right guys this is what's going on in the pot so it's almost done it's still simmering a little bit good morning y'all yeah. good morning it's the very next day yeah so we're just driving sean to work no and i figured you know what i need to end the vlog y'all been with me the whole weekend today is monday morning so sean is back on the grind <laughs> yeah and also i feel so nice so last night i think i showed you guys did i show you guys my dinner yeah so this is a clip of my dinner because i don't think i think i just did like a video so that was the finishing product of my din din which was um pork chops rice and some coleslaw sean made the coleslaw by the way and it was banging yeah it was banging so yeah that's what we had for dinner and we basically ended our night by watching a movie another movie again on netflix see i've been telling y'all about the movies we watched last scene alive and that is with gerard butler that's his name right babe gerard butler so, yeah. yeah gerard butler um a movie about his wife that disappeared from a gas station so they stopped at a gas station for gas and she just disappeared so um that was i enjoyed it though give it a nine out of ten four to five we give for oh in the same thing four to five nine out of ten no oh what would you give it over ten then seven <laughs> eight <laughs> yeah so we That's okay 80%. our rating out of five is a four so i would yeah i would recommend it so y'all could go ahead and um watch that it's called last seen alive on netflix all right don't say i never put you on to good movies because i'll be telling y'all because we love our netflix <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching this vlog thank you guys so much for your ongoing support as usual and make sure you tune into the next video all right and have yourself a good week or a good weekend whenever it is you're watching this vlog so see you